Jack, Will, Julia, and Charlotte. We follow the Miss, Mr. Toshima into a small room across the, from Mr. Garcia's desk. He was talking as he closed the door to his office and sat down behind his big desk. Though I wasn't really paying much attention to what he was saying, I was looking around at all the things on his desk. Cool stuff like a globe that floated in the air, the air, the air, and a ruby cube made with with little mirrors. I like his office a lot. I like that there were all these neat little drawing and the painting by students on the walls, framed like they were important. Mom sat down in a chair in front of Mr. Tashman's desk, and even though there was another chair right next to hers, I decided to stand beside her. Why do you have your own room and Mrs. G doesn't? I said. You mean, why do I have an office? asked Mr. Tashman. You said she runs the place, I said. Oh, well, I was uh, kind of kidding. Mr. G is my assistant. Mr. Tushman is the director of the middle school, Mom explained. Do they call you Mr. T? I asked which name made him smile. Do you know who Mr. T is? He answered. I pity the fool, he said in a funny, tough voice, like he was imitating someone. I had no idea what he was talking about. Anyway, no, said Mr. Tashima, shaking his hand. No one calls me Mr. T. Though I have a feeling I'm called a lot of other things I don't know about. Let's face it, a name like mine is not too easy to live with. You know what I mean. Here I have to admit I totally left because I knew exactly what he meant. My mom and dad had a teacher called Miss Butt, I said. Aggie said alarm, but Mr. Tushman laughed. Now this bed, said Mr. Tushman, shaking his head. I guess I shouldn't complain. Hey, so listen, August, here's what I thought we would do today. Is that a pumpkin? I said, pointing to a framed painting behind Mr. Tushman's desk. August, we did, don't even drop and said the mom, you like it? Then Mr. Tushman turning around and looking at the painting. I do too, and I thought it was a pumpkin too. Until the student who gave in the in to me explained that it was actually not a pumpkin. It is, are you ready for this? A portrait over me. No, August, I ask you. Do I really look that much like a pumpkin? No, I answered though I was thinking yes. Something about the way his cheeks popped out when he smiled made him look like a jack o' lantern. Just as I thought that, it occurred to me how funny that was the cheeks, Mr. Tushman, and I started laughing a little. I shook my head and covered my mouth with my hand. Mr. Toshiman smiled like he could read my mind. I was about to say something else, uh, but then all of a sudden I hear other boys outside. Heard, heard the other voices outside the office. The office. Office. Kids' voice. I'm not exaggerating when I say this, but my heart little started beating like I just run the longest race in the world. The laughter I had inside just poured out of me. The thing is, when I was little, I never minded meeting new kids because all the kids I met were really little too. What's cool about really little kids is that they don't say stuff to try to hurt your feelings. Even though sometimes they do say stuff that hurts your feelings, but they don't actually know what they are saying. Big kids, though, they know what they are saying, and that is definitely not fun, for, not fun for me. One of the reasons I grew my hair long last year was that I 
Like how my wings cover my eyes, it helps me block out the things I don't want to see. Miss Garcia knocked on the door and pokes her head inside. There is Mr. Tushman, said she. she said. Who's here? I said. Thanks, said Miss Tushman to Garcia. I was I thought it would be a good idea for you to meet some students and who will be in your home will be in your home this year. I figured that I could take you around the school a bit. Show you are the lay Show you the lay of lay of the land so to speak. I don't want to meet anyone, I said to mom. Mr. Toshiman was suddenly right in front of me, his hands on my shoulders. He leaned down and said very softly in my ear, It will be okay, August. These are nice kids, I promise. You are going to be okay, Augie, mom whispered with all her might. Before she could say anything else, Mr. Toshiman opened the door to his office. Come on in, kids. He said, and he walked to boys and her girl. None of them looked over at me or mom. They stood by the door, looking straight at Mr. Tushman, like their lives depend depending. depended on it. Thanks so much for coming, guys, especially since school doesn't start until next month, said Mr. Tushman. Have you had a good summer? All of them nodded, but no one said anything. Very great, said Mr. Tushman. So, guys, I wanted you to meet August, who's going to be a new student here this year. August, these guys have been students at Pitcher Prep since kindergarten, though, of course, they were in the lower school building. But they know all the ins and outs of the middle school program. And since you are all in the same homeroom, I thought it would be nice if you got to know each other a little before school started, okay? So kid, this is August. August, this is Jack Will. Jack Will not looked at me and put out his hand. When I shook it, he kind of half smiled and said, Hey, and I looked down really fast. This is Julian, said the Mr. Toshiman. Hey, said Julian, and did the... The same exact thing as Jack Will. Took my hand, forced a smile, looked down fast. And Charlotte, said Mr. Tushman. Charlotte had the, the blondest hair I've ever seen. She didn't shake my hand, but gave me a quick little wave and smiled. Hi, August. Nice to meet you, she said. Hi, I said, looking down. She was wearing, she was wearing in bright green crocs. So, said Mr. Tushman, pu putting his hands together in a kind of a slow clap. What I thought you guys could do is take August on a little tour of the school. Maybe you could start on the third floor. That's where your home class is going to be, room 301. I think Mr. G is room 301, Mrs. Garcia called out from the other room. Room 301, Mr. Tushman nodded. And then you can show August the science labs and the computer room. Then walk your way down to the library and the performance space on the second floor. Take him to the cafeteria, of course. Should we take him to the museum? room? asked Julian. Good idea, yes, said Mr. Toshima. August, do you play an instrument? No, I said I wanted my favorite subject on account of the f fact that I don't really have ears. Well, I do, but they don't exactly look like normal ears. Well, you may enjoy seeing the museum room anyway, said Mr. Toshima. We have a very nice selection of a percussion, percussion. percussion instruments. August, you've been wanting to learn to play the drums, Mom said, trying to get me to look at her. But my eyes were covered by my bangs as I stared at a piece of old gum that was stuck 
to the bottom of Mr. Tushman's desk. Great, okay, so why don't you guys get going, said Mr. Tushman. Just be back here in. He looked at mom. Half an hour, okay? I think mom nodded. So it's okay with you or what? He asked me. I didn't answer. It's okay, I was mom repeated. I look at her now. I wanted her to see how mad I was at her. But then I saw her face and just nodded. She seemed more scared than I was. The other kids, the other, the other kids, the, the. the other kids had uh, uh, started them out the door. So I followed them. See you soon, said the mom. Her voice sounded a little higher than normal. I didn't answer her. 